Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes. Well then, it's been an interesting week, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, not just for this game, but for other stuff too. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you're all having a good week. It's almost the weekend. It's very close. So, uh, you know, hopefully you're looking forward to that, or whatever you like to do. Maybe you're looking forward to the weekend, maybe you're not. Maybe you like Fridays, maybe you don't, who knows. It's just one of them deals. And you know, you, you, when you know, you know, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm just speaking nonsense now. But, uh, yeah, welcome uh, to all the new subscribers as well. We're getting, uh, we're getting more of them. We're growing. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. I'm very, very happy for this moment uh, of growing the channel. I always like, um, it's always nice to see people liking, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. It's very humbling um, to see that kind of stuff to happen, you know. Hmm. But yeah, welcome for all the new people as well. Uh, you're probably looking at this going, wait a minute, this ain't, sad. This ain't the normal satisfactory, what are these things? Uh, these are belts. This is a modded playthrough, if you uh, didn't read the title. Um, that's not an insult or anything, that's just... If you didn't read the title, this is a modded playthrough. <laughs> that's that's all I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah. Um, and if you want to know what the mods that we're playing with are... As you can see, this is also a modded belt. Uh, if you want to know what the mods that we're playing with are, this is down in the description section. And if you can think of any mods that you may... Uh, that may go with our playthrough. Go ahead and suggest them in the comments section, and I will look at them and let you know in a future episode whether we are going to add them or not, and why or why not. You know, all the good stuff. So, um, yeah, I think things are looking up, uh, pretty much. So the goal for today, because uh, if you remember, the, if you remember last time, I'm gonna just start with that. <laughs> I'm over the, all over the place today. Uh, but uh, if you remember last time, we did um, build somewhat functional. Grab some more of these. We built somewhat functional for our smelter, uh, or smeltery for um, copper. Um, so. Here we are <laughs> for that. Uh, so uh, I guess the goal for today is probably going to be getting a train going uh, for copper. We're going to need to find some copper nodes and get some train stations set up and a train and get the train hooked up. I think that's going to be the goal for the day. I don't know if we're going to be able to com be able to complete it, but at the very least, we are going to be able to. Um, we are going to be able to hook this up and get some copper being made over here. And then we can turn off the copper mine, and then that's one more thing knocked out of the uh, knocked out of the area. Because see, here's our here's our five belts, but we don't have them all hooked up yet because we kept running out of um, reinforced plating, which is fine. You know, we can run out of reinforced plating. It's no big deal got a hope that we can get some more of it. <laughs> Just gonna hook this up and to go. So right here. One, two. And then pull it over. Rotate it. change this. All of a sudden it's no longer working. Okay, no, no, it did work. Okay, whatever. I love these belts, by the way. Yeah, these, these covered belts are very, very nice. I still wish they would add a glass one with, um, with, uh, fr with, uh, metal framing. Like, take this one that you already have here. Uh, obviously make a new one. 
but take this framing, leave the framing with the lights, and just change this design to glass. Since you can see, um, since you can see the stuff through the belt here anyway, uh, just make it make it glass. Obviously, you'd have to redo the bottom of the belt. The belt would have to be an actual belt. Um, but yeah, I think that would be an, an amazing addition. But then again, I don't make the mods, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and demand that you add that kind of stuff. But uh, if you would, please, that would be awesome. I have enough. Nope, I don't have enough. Okay. Yeah, it's because that one had to have a bend in it, and now it's all messed up. It's fine, though. There's our train. Still going 25 kilometers an hour. That's the fastest this train will go. <laughs> That's okay. Now we'll get the rest of that hooked up in time. Uh, we do need to get train stations going today, though, so we're going to need concrete. This is the wrong way to go. We're going to need to go this way. Um, watch out for the third rail. I think that should be a mod <laughs> as well. Like, uh, you cannot run on top of these tracks. Um, at least, like, uh, if you run onto it, you have to, since they do provide power, the power is probably in this outer rail piece. You should not be able to touch that. Should, that should be like the third rail on um, on a subway. <laughs> just just for fun, you know. <laughs> Gives you a little zap, takes a, takes a heart from you. Or a box, I should say. A boxy heart, whatever. Yeah, I'm starting to enjoy this game again. It was a, it's, it's been a rocky start, and uh, yeah, it's just, just, just been a bit of a, a bit of rough, a rough patch here. So there's been some ups and downs and. Whatever it might be, but uh, it, it's going now. It's it's going. We're we're actually um, we're actually starting to get somewhere with something. <laughs> it's been really slow. So, oh, I guess we finally run out of actual wire. So now we're just sinking regular. We got two coupons. That's it. But we're doing um, copper wire right now. We need to find Caterium. Uh, get that going, but I'll look at all the concrete. How much concrete do I have? Not much. When I say not much, it's like, you have a bunch. You have 2,000 there. Yeah. 3,000. It's better. Anyway. Uh, how much, how many plates and stuff do we have? Uh, we have a lot of wire and a lot of basic stuff, but we don't have, uh, we'll grab some more, a couple more stacks of plates, because plates in this one, um, plates are the, the thing we need. There we go. It'd be nice if we could limit this. Well, I think you can actually, can't you? No, you can't limit the storage on these. That was probably a mod for it. That's okay. But anyways, so yeah, let's go get some train sting, uh, train stuff set up. Oops. Oh, it, it did it anyway. Nice, I hit the wrong key. Oh, look at all the copper over there. Let's go over here. 
That's copper, right? Yeah, that's definitely copper. There's more than one copper node over here. We can get a train station over here. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, there's two copper nodes over here. Um, now, if one of these is pure, we're setting up a train station here. I don't care. Right, looks like we're going to have to fight for it. That's fine. Come here, bud. Ah, I didn't... It lagged a little bit there. Ah! Why is the FPS dropping? Jeez. <laughs> you went flying, didn't we? Don't fall down there. Glad I killed him. Because <laughs> he would have pushed me off. Okay, we got a normal. And we have a normal. Uh, mm. Like, this seems worth it. Because we got two normals. But I really need a pure... And I really don't want to set up a train station down here. Oops. Oh. Um, power. There's, there's got to be better nodes, right? Transport. Uh, there we go. I was curious about this if there's blocks, if block signals, and path signals. Those are really important. That's okay. They'll get stuck on that little ledge back there. Uh, copper. I really need a few copper nodes in a small location um, that has a pure one. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Okay. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. I'm the only one here. <laughs> well, this got iron. A lot of iron up here. There's uh, iron, copper, and limestone. Jeez. Here's the copper. This is an impure. It's not even worth fighting for. Alright, we'll go over this way. It's leaping through the area. Oh, hello. Don't mind this guy. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, it always gets a little bit laggy fighting with those guys for some reason. I don't understand. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, they're all normal. Fuck. Oh yeah? Okay. That one's normal. That one's impure. That one's not even worth trying to get. The two normals next to each other might be worth it. Um, yeah, that, that might be worth it. But we have this one up here as well. Uh I guess that's a big problem, isn't it? There's not enough... There's not any iron nodes near near, near each other. Or iron... I mean, copper. Fuck. Yeah, there's not many copper nodes that are, like, right next to each other, other than those are way over there. Um, and I don't... I don't mind taking those, but I need... I need a... I need a peer node, at, at the very least. Um for a train station. I don't remember what this one was. I think this is also a normal. And plus, we might need a train station here for this stuff, whatever it, it is. Uh, it is value might. We might need a train station here for those uh, instead of the copper. Yeah, this copper was... I think it's actually impure, to be honest. Oh, that's normal. So it's 60. 
Um, I'm gonna go over this way a little bit. Let's go. Let's go a little. Take a little explore. See if we can find some copper over this way. Oh, got a ping on copper. Oh, got another ping on copper. Oh, we're pinging the copper there. And we do have a train line near here, so if this is a pier node, that's where I'm setting up at. Because a pier node is 120. I think it's actually over there. Yeah, it's actually up. So what we're going to do then is we'll go up this way. <laughs> we'll go up this way and we'll bridge across. So I'm not jumping down. But I want to see it over there. Yeah, there it is. And we don't know. Um, because... Uh, we have the random sort or the random uh, I guess it'd be a random purity level really it's just random purity right now because the, the the random mod itself doesn't really work okay, I'm probably gonna erase this don't worry ooh I know that area I've been down there. I actually built a power station right over the top of the void. Down that way. It's a really it's a really neat spot to build. Oh he nearly went flying off. I like how they, they uh, kind of turn their faces in pain because they've been shocked. <gasps> a pure node. Oh, and this is perfect as well. Harvest. Harvest. Okay, I'm going to erase all this. And our train line is right there. Uh, that's the, I guess that's the problem. Oh, why'd I do that? I'm an idiot. Hold on. Dang it. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to um, select it all and then come back across and erase it. <laughs> See, I'm going to put a train station just up here. Uh, because it's a pier node, it's 120. So that's uh, four miners. That's, that's four miners, or four miners, that's uh, four smelters with one miner. Let me up, let me up. Ah, fuck. Um, uh, we could do a train station off this side of the valley. I suppose that would work. No. Uh, there's there's one big problem, though, uh, with the train station up here. Ah, uh, fuck. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Shh. We gotta go get that. That's going to drive me absolutely insane. I just did. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Tired of your shit game. <laughs> Tired of it. I have had it up to here. No, I've had it up to... I've had it up to here. With your crap. Sorry, I'm terrible. <laughs> terrible at jokes. I want to build it. I actually want to build it. Let's see. Okay, 
Yeah, I want to build this, this station up here, I think. Yeah, there's only one problem with it, though, um, building a station here. I could make that a big train station and build the stuff over. That could work. Like, just double up on the train station. Uh, there's only one big issue with that, though. Is getting... Um, getting the... So we build one train station here, and one train station over by those two normals. Uh, that's going to be awkward, though. It's going to be so awkward. Uh, it's going to be so awkward. Sorry, I'm just thinking for one moment. It's so awkward because there's not... <sighs> Building the train stations is not... It's not difficult. It's not a hard process. It's getting the train stations inputted and integrated into this system without causing major issues. Is there any more copper on this side of the, um, like, is there any more copper, like, up there or something? Uh, there's copper, oh, there's a couple coppers, like, 600 meters as well. Um, I guess what we could do is we could make a train station down in the valley. That would also help. Let's see how much copper is over here. I almost fell off. See that hole just appear in front of me? Skirt the edge of the... Oh, one of them died right here. Stop hurting me. Yeah, we need to find a big copper... a big copper mine. Okay, it's still 300 meters. Okay, if we put... Oh, they're down in the valley, I think. advise you to harvest Ooh. this specimen. Ooh, look at that copper. Okay, you know. Harvest. I'm not so... I mean, it is far away, but we do have a train. So, and the train will get faster over time. But if we can get down to that copper down there, it's going to take a lot of concrete. But I have a lot of concrete, so... so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Okay, we'll just go down. And then we'll just train along the... Uh, we'll train along the valley. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight for it. Geronimo! Oh, right in the ass. There's one. Okay, so we've got an impure, don't tell me, a pure, okay, that balances it out, and a normal. Dang it, why'd it have to be one of each? Why can't it do, be like two peers or something? That's okay. That is just fine. I'm fine with this. Um, this is where we'll get our copper, and then, ooh, 
I know where that goes. That goes out to the mushroom fields. Yeah, but then we'll train along this valley here. And of course, you want to be right in the way, don't you? Let's see. Uh, Z, shift. Control. Control, place, shift to Z, up one. Okay. Then I need to go. What is it? So the train is five long. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's uh, four times two is eight. That's okay, so that's ten foundations. 11, 12. So we need 12 foundations. Um. I need to go a little bit further away because this way this is placed. This is placed, by the way, on the world grid, so. So we're gonna place it about there ish. I wanted it up off the ground a little bit, at least, anyway. So. Or. And five. Okay, that'll work. And then what we'll do is we'll just run two train lines along this. So. Okay. So I need to go 11. Uh, let's go ahead and place that. So click. And then shift, is it? So we'll go, let me get out of the way. Also, H to lock it. So, shift, 10, 11, and then hold down Z. Nope. Let go of shift, hold down Z. And then go 5. I went the right way, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll just finish it up going around the edge. So yeah, this will be the train station. So inside that mine right there, what the hell is going on in there? Um, let's go over here and check it out. Something weird is happening over here. This didn't, I don't remember this looking like this before. Uh, yeah, something's definitely broken with this cave. It should not look like, there it is. Okay, so inside this cave right here, there's spiders, by the way, just in case you didn't know. But inside this cave right here, there is uranium. If I remember right, there is uranium inside this cave. It'll lead you to uranium. That's why I put my power, or put my um, my power plant for, or my big old power station. I put it over the void here. The problem with it was, I could never get enough water to this area because I had to train it in um, and I could never get enough water that was the only bad thing about that but if we could train out the uranium over to a place where we could have water which I have a I have a spot picked out actually that I'm already planning on that would work oh, we don't have any miners here though well, we can get the train station down, at least. There we go. Okay. So, let's 
so... How should this go? Should the train line come along here? We're gonna have to actually... Let me widen this out just a little bit. It's going to have to go somewhere else. Okay. That should be the end of it. Okay. Yeah, our ramp will have to go on the back here. Instead. I shouldn't do that. I thought, oh, I'll just put up a little two meter ramp. Uh, that ain't gonna help. This ain't working. We'll just do it on this side. It's fine. And then four meter. We'll just put. We'll just put four meters on me. That'll just have to work. So the reason I'm doing this... Uh, is because... I'm th the way I'm thinking this is gonna go... Is the train... Is gonna end up coming this way and then turning around... Doing a loop... Or kind of like a half loop I should say... It's gonna do like a half loop. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn around to go back into the train station in the back side. It's like either that or we have the train we have the train come this way, stop at the station here and then loop back around and if we're hauling uranium we could use the, the train line there as well uh, to take us up and out of the valley oh the only problem with that was, is, is it would take us straight to the base I'm, I think I'm just, just gonna have to have uranium on its own train line um, I think that's fair So yeah, we're going to have, um, oh, and yeah, with our, the way things are going. Okay, so it should be here, I would assume. So we go until it says no. Right there. Go back up half. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit longer too. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah. This is gonna be a big like area, so I'll just do it that way. So it's not this one, it is this one. Tip go until it says no, and then back off. 
Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Freight platform, and then yes, I know my trains don't have to be as long as they, as long as I'm making them. But I want to make them this long because trains look a little bit better on this game if they're longer. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt to set up, but if you can set it up, uh, you're doing good. So what is that? One, two, three, and then just place down to four, so this will be five. Okay. Alright, so my ramp's gonna have to move over even further. Which is fine. Not a big deal. That's why I brought a lot of concrete with me. Because I knew it's gonna have to be something big. Or I was gonna end up using a lot of concrete. It was probably gonna be and I'd probably run out. Just um, we'll cut down some of the stuff. Let's get some of the vegetation out of the way. Oh, we're getting um, oh, we should be getting mycelia, right? No, we're just getting leaves. I thought this was like stuff we could use, but. Down these little. Yeah. I think that they said this is like a fungus. It's like a, a living thing. These wiffle balls. They're like a living thing. I'm not sure though. It's one of them things. Let's see. Um. Production. I'm not going all the way back just for some of the, the things, so... Oh, whoops. Wrong one. That's what I need. One, two, three. It's like, yeah, I love being able to delete. Again, that's <laughs> so nice. Okay, so the train station power is right there. Uh, I think I'm gonna have this miner go this way up this ramp. It actually kind of worked out that way. Yeah, it actually kind of worked out that way. That's pretty nice. Of course, I may have it up on stilts, so it's up in the air, so you can walk underneath it. And then, yeah, we're going to face this miner this way as well. And this miner is going to face this way. Right? Yeah, because we got to... Um, Say how much? How many belts do I have? I do not have many. I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, so we'll get the train. Oh, I was gonna say we'll get the train done. The train line done, I suppose. 
Okay, that's fine. We can do. We can work with this. All right. So the other tr the train, um, and this is why I brought a lot of plate with me. We're going to need to expand this, I think. Just one step further, just so we can get a curve. Track has too sharp of a turn. Uh oh. It's like it is not happy. Yeah, I should be able to do that. I'll just have it half hanging off. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is not happy to do this at all. Look, this is not wide enough, it's it's saying. Alright, we'll have to do a sharper curve. Then. So we can't do this, but if we back off... Well, if we back off five. And then let me do... I think it's going to end up over here, isn't it? Too sharp of a turn. Two, four. Oops. Two, three, four, five. No. What? How did this one do it, but that one can't? Oh, I see. An idiot. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is, by the way, if you didn't know what I'm doing, I'm doing bracer track. So, when it comes to rails, uh, and you want the rail to end up after a curve or a corner or something, you want it to, to go straight after that point, put in a bracer track where you want it to go straight, if you know where that is. Um, and then, yeah, then connect off of that, and you can always delete it later, so... There we go, look at that. So now we have a, a sharp curve. Now, uh, now the train would never make this, or the track itself, the way the construction works, would never make this track voluntarily. So that's why we had to kind of build it in pieces. Sometimes that is a thing. Do you have to build the track in pieces? Right here. So we want to do that bit. Oh, okay. And then over here. So let's do this. Let's see if it'll allow me to do this. trying to get this track a little closer, but I guess I'll have to do that further out. So that's 17. Let's use this as a counter. How long are we? 17, okay. 17. 18. Okay. So this is where the track is going to just leave. Okay. And I want the other track. Yeah, I didn't think. 
think so. Okay. So here's how we do this. So if we ever put down a platform for track, we gotta do it in this style somewhat. It's it's really hard to put track next to each other. It is uh, not fun. Anyway. Yeah, it's like, trust me, <laughs> I've been there, done this. <laughs> it is not a good time. We're gonna try and get two bits of track next to it, next to itself. So we'll go like this, and then we need to go over just a little bit. Uh oh. Okay, that looks about straight. Just connect that right on in. So then what I'll do is I'll get rid of these two bracer tracks. So both the tracks are going to go straight. And we won't be able to do anything about the power for a while. I cannot believe it took us this long to do this. <laughs> Time is flying, man. Okay, so how far... Ooh. So we want to go, yeah, relatively straight. So I may, may do this. Let's go for, oops, that was nine blocks. Yeah, let's go for 10 blocks. all of this, well, in a moment, actually, that, so yeah, we'll go to here, and then go to here, okay, yep, and then we gotta get up over this hump, so we gotta find spot up there both tracks can go okay we might have to do it from up here so if you're ever at an angle stuff there's some of the vegetation in here this is water did I never know there was a water geyser over here? Am I just that that stupid? Wow. I never even thought about a water geyser being over here. I cannot believe that. I could have built a power station there and had all my water, man. That's uh, of course that was a long time ago, so it's not like it's a it's a big deal anymore. And okay, we may have to put space in between them. Do we have to keep them continue rising? Eh, not really. I mean, kind of, but kind of not. So this one. We'll probably go... Yeah, let's go all the way to the edge with it. Or all the way to the, the corner with it. Should be able to do the same here, all the way to the corner. Yeah, that looks good. So you just gotta find the spot. This was really hard to do without deleting things. <laughs> I just kind of had to guess and hope I was uh, making the right the right decision. Uh, luckily, my, uh, the stuff that I did was actually pretty all right. Because yeah, I don't want to 
get too close to this, so we do got to uh, actually I might move it over. Let's move both tracks over. Uh oh. I fell off. No. Okay, so we'll drag that one to that corner and this one to that corner. Oh, actually, we can drag this one to this spot. Drag this one to this spot. Okay, now we gotta find another spot up over there. I think I'm gonna go... What are you even here for? Just spawned in a dick location. There's nothing here, asshole. You're just over here like, ah, oh, my field. Fuck you, dude. Okay, so I want... It depends on where the tracks end up, I suppose. Now they... Jeez. That thing flashing is going... At... Stop it! It's gonna... It was gonna drive me insane. Okay, so I should've put... I should've put a... a ramp there. That's how you get those, uh flat spots and tracks. So, what we're going to do is we're going to delete both of these once more because we have discovered that we should probably have a one meter ramp. And what this is going to force the track to do is to take out some of that. It's going to force it to take out some of that, um, that flat spot. You may not ever get rid of the flat spots when replacing like this, but at least you can say it's you tried. <laughs> I'll take that. So now it's going to ridge over. It's going to kind of ridge and then it's going to flatten out here, which is what we want because we want it somewhat close to the ground, but not. We don't want it to either touch the ground and we don't want a bunch of flat spots. So now you can see the difference. This now has a continuous slope rather than a flat slope, or a slope and then a flat and then a slope and then a flat. Okay, and we'll go just like this one, just to there. And as long as we keep that distance between them, uh, they should always uh, they should always stay at a at a good distance. Oh, there is a bit more of a distance in between these, but it's okay as long as these these two rails, as long as they never get too close to each other. Uh oh, <laughs> stuck. <laughs> yeah, as long as they don't get too close. And of course, you can always move them too. If you, know, you feel like they're getting too close, but I would I would keep a distance between them because the there's a bit of the front train car that actually sticks out just past this bar here. So if you don't want your trains clipping into each other, <laughs> I would recommend um, I'd recommend sticking outside that zone. Or sticking uh, to a distance there. So it looks like we're going to continue, we're going to start sloping up again. So let's do a foundation. And we're probably going to need to fight this guy for the valley. Because he's an asshole.
Okay, so I'm going to put a one meter slope on those as well. So yeah, I'm gonna put another one meter slope on these guys here. I might move that one over to about the middle. It's a, it's a little too close for comfort. We shall see. No. See so, yeah, and then yeah, we'll slope up like this. me off. <laughs> yep. Because that it is kind of pulling a gap, so we're gonna go we're gonna go to here instead. And that's a little too far away. Okay. So we'll have to gap just a little bit more in that. And we could gap there, and it'd still be aiming in the same direction. I just, yeah, that's, that's much better. Okay. That's a good gap. Very good gap. So yeah, we're going to continue slope. And also I'm going to put a one meter. It looks like we're just going to continue sloping, so put another one meter up here. Top of this. And the slope. The slope is kind of still going this way. So. Yeah, we'll keep slipping. There is a bit of a flat spot there still. But it's not that bad, I don't think, because the hillside doesn't slope perfectly down, so I think this is okay. Yeah, that's just fine. But the gap. There is a slightly smaller gap there, but that is okay. All right, we're gonna have to go beat up this guy. Fireball, my friend. Right in the ass. Take it. Take it. You're gonna love it. Me up there. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that sucks. I can't. It's like just too tall. Uh, and I got up there because there wasn't a slope this time. I still can't get up this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, eh. Alright, so take this. Going to follow the slope up to about there. That's about right. And yeah, we're going to take it to. Uh, a two meter slope because we're going to be sloping even higher up now. But we're going to go underneath that that other rail as well. So yeah, we're going to take this to a two meter slope. Uh, reason is because we're now we're sloping up even steeper. Why are you so glitchy? So, 
so this one is straight if it goes to this corner. So now we're going to slope up even higher. Not doing that. Hold on. I'm getting an issue in my track here. Like for some reason, this track decided that it wasn't straight, and now it wants to kind of. All right, we're going to. So since that's the case, we'll take it to there instead. And now we'll take it up. <laughs> this is glitchy. Glitchy as fuck. I'll take it up this way and see what it looks like. That's a little better. Why is it sloping like that? Isn't that weird? Like sometimes the tracks just doesn't want to... They don't want to... Like, this one slopes much higher than this one. But they're both 2 meter ramps. They both start in the same position, essentially. Is it still turning as well? Oh, now this is starting lower. Um, I guess I'm not starting in the same position. Yeah, what the? Okay, something weird happened here. I think. This one's just lower in general the entire way. I think we gotta go to all the way to the edge. Hop on this other rail. To delete that one. Maybe they're just not offset enough. Oh, it pushed me off. Hey, don't push me off this time. Jeez. Okay, now we're a little, I think we're a little straighter there. Possibly. I guess we'll find out once we get up this way. Yeah, we're, we're a little straighter. I mean, not as straight as we could be, but... That actually shoved me off there. That actually had shoved me off. And yeah, we're still lower. Um, as, you can see, as you can see, we're clipping in. And this side's not really clipping in all that much. I mean, it's starting to, but... Yeah, this one needs to be pushed back, I think. I like it needs to end up there instead. That's a little closer. Yeah, they're, and they're still maintaining like a, a decent gap, so it's not so bad. <sighs> and unfortunately, we got to continue like this all the way up. This about straight? Yeah, that's about straight. I'm actually going to turn them. Two me. 
meter. Yeah, two meter. Don't worry, these ramps aren't staying here. Yeah, I actually got two. I'm a little far away. Actually, I might not be able to grab them either. <laughs> like, there we go. Nope. So we're still too far away. So we do have to go over here. I mean, it'll be aiming this way, so it's not so that big of a deal. Oh! Got it. <laughs> yeah! So it needs to go like that. And this one needs to go over here. Like this. Again, it is lower or for some reason. It might just because of the way I'm s or the way I've got it sloped, it's just not and also, it's too close. Maintaining this distance is really important for me. Oh, I need to go to the edge, actually. That'll help the distance and... Slope did not... Keep that distance, it needs to be like here, going towards the middle. When you push it back and down, like it just it's getting further and further away from the same height. It's like I've done this before, I just don't know why it's not working this time. Like, yeah, there has to be something that I did last time that just made it work. Like it should. Yeah, they're just getting further and further. Uh, I think I'll redo this one. So let's put a one meter. And then and maybe a two. Maybe that'll help with the height. Now we're about the same height. Maybe that was my problem all along. I definitely kind of fixed the height. The gap is a bit small. Whatever. Just here. a little bit too far, but uh, I gotta fix it. Just gotta fix it. Why is that gap so wide? Like before, it's just like, oh, we want to be, you know, super close, and then now it's like, Now it's like, oh no, now we gotta be super far. Yeah, it just. Where I think it's the gap is too close. Gap is not too close. I see the gap starts to get small again. It's like between here and here is too much. Because we're gonna need to start turning here soon. Be right about there. I don't know why I'm trying to do that. And they're going to need to be two meters as well. Yep. 
the other thing you can do, I suppose, you could put a full foundation gap in between, and then um, that would also help too, in some regards. I need it. I need it over here. I don't need it there. And it's going to have to remain its 2 meter lift. And we'll do 1 meter and 2 meter. Yep, that goes to there. And this one. Oh, they're getting too close again. This one turns slightly, and then this one doesn't have room to turn, which just pisses me off greatly. <laughs> it's, it's a little frustrating. Trying to get this, this crap lined up. Yeah, we're just going to have to deal with the slightly bigger gap in order to keep these from clashing against each other. It's like I probably could have done a proper slope for this, but I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, why is this gap all of a sudden so tiny? I don't get it. These aren't curving the same for some reason. That's curving too much. <laughs> A little bit irritating. Get this correct. So that is too close. Let's try this. Okay. That's a decent enough gap. Like, I, I, I'm not too unhappy with that. Okay, so here's what has to happen is uh, this train line over here, right over here, has got to come down the slope at some point. Like we got to find a spot that's level. Which I think, actually, this is all level. I think I had this leveled out. Okay, so... Take this. That should work. Um, okay, that's the that's a big issue. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So what I've got to do then, I've got to get up on top of back here actually. Have to do it there instead. I 
need this to kind of go out like this. Oh, this uh, this game sometimes. <laughs> you just the, the the character just walks off of stuff. Like it gets close to the ledge and it's just like, oop, I slept. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we want that level. And then... And then we're going to slope it down. Slope it down to about there. We would want it, um, we run it really close to the other rail, so. Okay. No, this ain't gonna work. There we go. That'll work. Sometimes you can get away with doing that. Just, uh, it's a little too long. That would have been perfect, too. Well, at least really close. Okay, let's see if we can. We get the, the rail track to pull through between, uh, between the things. It's like either that or we have to, uh, remove a support, which we might end up doing. I need to put... I need to put a slope on this. Over here. Yeah. Put a slope on this. Maybe one meter? No. Two meter, probably. That ended up there. Okay. That's right. Go like this. And poof. She's connected. Now we can connect to there, or we can put a slope in that. Another two meter. Now it's, it's going to need to be up higher, I think. Like. Maybe two meter, and then a two meter slope. Uh, the only problem is this is now too high. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll do a one meter. Oh, we'll do. Uh, we'll do a two meter. this up as well. Let's we'll do a ramp. There we go. Hey, not jump up a two meter ramp? Jeez. Like, you go from being only able to jump up like one and a half meters to being able to jump four. <laughs> it's uh, pretty crazy. And we'll put a two meter ramp. Had my auto clicker on that time, I'm cheating. <laughs> Just to get that placed underneath me. Actually, I'm one meter might do it. And it's gonna it's going to soften the slope a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. Okay. Take 
this all the way up. Hmm, that's what I thought. Uh, it does kind of slope up, so that needs to be... This needs to be a one meter, actually. Oh, <laughs> there's actually a ramp in there. Let's see it glitching out. bad. It's got a little bit of a flat spot in it, but it does continue sloping. Okay. And also, I haven't had the mini-map on this entire time. <laughs> yeah, it is weird to see the tracks on there. Like, yep, and it just slopes on in. Oh, we went way past time. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get that track connected. Because then we got, uh, we also got power down there now, too, so, uh, with that being connected. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a weird track system, but I think it'll be alright. And then, yeah, that'll, so that the trains will go down that way, connect to the track, and then this one is going to connect to this track, but it isn't going to connect to this track um, until it gets onto the other side of this station. Uh, that's my plan here, is to get this track, it's going to be up on this station, like this. We are going to expand this out slightly. like that. So yeah, the train will follow this, uh, follow this slope upwards. And we'll try to get that slope. But it is going to end up up there, and then it's going to connect to the track on that side, so. That sounds good. Well then. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. But, um, so that was, uh, that was half the goal done, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we'll see. We shall see. But until next time, where we, I guess, where we build some more train tracks and stuff. Um try and get this damn copper thing moving. It's taking a while. But I'm surprised time went by that fast. I figured we'd get at least a couple stations in before we ran out of time. But that's how it goes. That is how it goes sometimes, so. Hope you, I guess I do, oh, I, I really do hope you enjoyed it. It's, this is one of my passions, I guess. It's a really good time. So, doing this kind of stuff. But until next time, I guess I'd say goodbye. <laughs>